Geminis. What's going on, Geminis? <laughs> What's going on, Gem? Mm-hmm. I'm going to do your read a different uh, from the uh, other ones, okay? Geminis, you guys have the page of wands because someone is very excited about you. They may be jumping the gun just a little bit, okay? Um, because you excite them. Oh, well, this could be and, 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 and could be. I want to say a Leo or an Aries. You see the excitement or feel the excitement with when you're around this person. That's genuine excite, excitement, by the way. This may be somebody you work with. Or just feels like you guys will make a great team. Mm -hmm. Told you they're excited. Six of Wands. Why do I hear hold up a second, though? Why am I here? Hold up a second. What's going on? Baby, don't you open that door before you close that other one first. Baby. Someone needs to slow down. There's still a lot of learning to do about the other person. Like they're in fantasy world. Be smart about this. Gemini's, I'm not sure that this is you that's moving this fast because I don't feel like it is. But if it is, slow down, okay? This person, They have an idea of what marriage is, but they don't have a clue. There's still much more or commitment is, they still live in fantasy world when it comes to marriage or committing to someone. And this is coming from someone that was married twice, married too young, too young, you guys. Now my second marriage, do I feel like I was still too? Yeah, I do. I do wish that Huey was a little bit younger than, cause he's eight years older than me. So I wish that he was, a, if he had been a little bit younger, we would have, I guess, understood each other a little bit more. And I know some people say age doesn't have anything to do with it, but to me and from what I'm, experience yeah for me it did but i feel like this person lives in fantasy world stuck in fantasy world when it comes to marriage okay marriage takes a lot of compromising and at the age i was 23 when i met huey and 23 22 22 23 when i met huey and i was and should have just chilled you know so, I feel like this person doesn't really have a clue. They're excited about you. You excite them. But don't jump the gun into marriage with this person. Mm -mm. They live in fantasy worlds. Delusional a bit when it comes to marriage. Very attracted to you, though. Still need to learn a lot. That's why this Eight of Pentacles is... The Eight of Pentacles speaks on practice, practicing. So I suggest that go down. I made a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes, you know, because I thought, especially in my first marriage, I thought that what I saw on TV was what I was supposed to do with my in my first marriage. So... A lot of mistakes, like bathing him and, you know, and feeding him. <laughs> it's just, oh my gosh, just dumb. Not dumb, but like taking the cheating and, oh, 
gosh. All right, clarifying the six of wands. Begging him to stay. Goodness gracious, on my knees, y'all. Jeez. Whew. All right, so when the six of wands came out, what I got was, baby, don't you close that door before you, don't you open that door before you close that other door first. So Gemini's, are you still in something? Still into someone else. Now, you could be, because these, these are two separate situations. And then you even have the Page of Cups sitting here. And I'm also hearing slow down. There's still hope for the other situation. Possibly with an Aquarius or a Pisces. Okay. All right. All right. So let's see. The tower. Ooh, you might have to hurt this person's feelings. <sighs> oh, they're going to do it. Spirit's going to do it. Yeah, because that represents a reunion. Five of Cups. Three of Swords and a Seven of Wands. Somebody jumped the gun. They definitely did. They got excited way too fast when it came to you. Somebody really desires you at your workplace and wanted a chance with you. All right? But I feel like somebody else, this person obsessed, obsessed over you, but I feel like somebody else have your attention. I do. Yep. All right, let's do your all signs. Like I told you, this was going to be different from the rest. You have a harsh truth that's going to be on blue. You guys can go over there and watch it. I'm also going to do an all signs. Let's see. Aries all the way to Pisces, please. Please. Here we go. If you're dealing with an Aries, oh Lord, this Aries feel like they have the drink to be around you. If you're dealing with a Taurus, you, you're already receiving the signs on what you need to do with this Taurus. This is your confirmation. This Gemini wants to change so that you can stay with them. This Cancer feels like the grass is greener on the other side. This um, Leo's dealing with financial issues. They feel like you guys' financial issues could be better than what it is. So they want to talk to you about it. This Virgo is extremely attracted to you. This Libra wants to break up. Doesn't look like you're going to try to, you're going to see this through. You might fight them for that. This Scorpio just wants to be friends. Ooh, they already feel it coming. This Sag feel you breaking it off with them. This um, Sagittarius is definitely heartbroken. They already feel it happening. They feel the two of you breaking up already. All right. All right, so this Capricorn though, Spirit is coming in and interfering with that because you guys need to break up or are not gonna be together. This Aquarius is toxic, period. They feel like everybody misunderstands them. And this, um, this Pisces have you in a third party. They're dealing with somebody at work. Mm-hmm. I'm going to clarify you in this Capricorn. Soulmate, mystery, and romantic feelings. Hook up, unfinished business, and between the lines. So y'all was supposed to just be a hookup, but you read into that differently. If this person tries to come back to you, I feel like they're coming back to you due to finances. Be careful there. Message. <laughs> 